I've been playing violin since I was seven years old. While I'm here for the three months, I'm uh, going to learn how to play the arhu, which is one of the five big traditional instruments in China. When I started my music major, I also picked up Chinese. And the more I studied Chinese, I started to dive more into the culture. And so I found the Asian culture really interesting just because it's so different from Western culture. But then when I listened to the music, it was just coming from a Western music background, nothing in the Western music literature is anything like Asian music. So immediately I was really impressed with her, and she was uh, nothing but nice and was, was willing to work with my limited Chinese vocabulary. I really like her, but the language varies a little rough. It is a barbarian instrument, and by barbarian I mean the Chinese dubbed it that because it was not a native Chinese instrument. It could be an instrument that was used for reflection. And so the idea of you know having a very powerful sound, you know, representing the mountains, or having a very smooth sound representing water or like the blowing wind, they associate those with different deities. It's a different scale, it's a different methodology, it's a whole different approach. The sensation of having a, a bow in between two strings is really, really weird. It's it's a very confusing feeling for me, being a, a Western string player. And the spacing is relatively similar to the violin as far as, you know, once you put down your first finger, your second finger has about this much space, and your third finger has this much space for, you know, your normal scale degrees. The part I'm having a real difficulty with is my bow hand and having a very odd feeling of having to push the bow hair outward to tighten it. By the end of my stay here, what I really want to accomplish is having really good technique. Because once I get back to the States, I'm on my own. <laughs>